Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. I asked you about the vaccine. Um, did you take it? No. Um, what's your view on it? Well, I, I have a friend. His name is uh, Dr. Leslie Ray Matthews out of, mm-hmm. out of Atlanta, Georgia. He was the head trauma doctor at uh, Grady Memorial in Atlanta for I don't know how many years. Uh, probably one of the best surgeons in the world. And it should be in the White House right now. Mm-hmm. Um, he told me that all I needed was vitamin D3. Wow. And he showed me how to use the vitamin D3 to keep myself healthy. And from that information that he gave me, I've got about 15 people out the hospital. Really? When you say how to use vitamin D3, isn't it just a pill that you just take? Yeah. Because you said how to use it. I'm like, is there a special way to use it? Yeah. If you just take, if you just say, if you go there, if you go to Walmart and you get the vitamin D3 with 200 milligrams, you didn't get much vitamin D3. Okay. If you go there and you get the pill with 10,000 milligrams, you got a whole lot more milligrams. Mm-hmm. So what he taught me to do is if you catch the virus, you high dose. Okay. You take 20,000, 30,000, just on a regular basis, 5,000, 10,000 every, every day, just about. And wow. But didn't you tell me the other day that actually a doctor passed away from- He um, didn't take his vitamin D3. <laughs> Hell, I'll well, tell you what's going on with that. It, yeah. it, <laughs> the first thing I do when I find out one of my relatives is in the hospital, the first thing I tell them, check your vitamin D level. Mm-hmm. And I guarantee you, deplete it. My niece was in, in the hospital in, in uh, Austin, Texas. And my brother called me. She had been in there two weeks. And uh, I called her. I said, hey, babe, how you feeling? She said, I don't feel good. Huh? I said, listen, tomorrow morning when your doctor comes, this is late at night when they call me. Probably like 11 o'clock our time, so real late her time in Texas. I said, listen, when the doctor come in in the morning, tell him to check your vitamin D level. So she did. I called her back. She said, hey, um, my vitamin D is depleted. I said, tell him to give you a high dose of vitamin D immediately. Two days later, she was out the hospital. She said, Unc, I'm on my way home. I got this uh, this breathing tube with me, though, but I'm on my way home. Wow. So she was off the breathing tube. No, wow. she had the breathing tube. She took that home yeah. with her. Mm-hmm. But she no longer needed to be in the hospital. In the hospital. Correct. I just had a friend who just had the, the, the Delta version two weeks, a week ago. And uh, when he called me, he had been sick two weeks and a half, I think. And he was telling me that his wife wasn't moving. Mm. I said, okay, look what you do. Can you go to the store? He said, yeah, I can make it to the store. I said, if you can't, I'll come over there and bring it to you. He said, no, I can make it to the store. Huh? You know, all the all the young guys around. They all know. call us on. Come yeah, they call I, me I don't uncle, like so. it. I'm I don't not mind. Uncle, I don't you know. like being a Well, you know, unk is a special, that's a special word. Yeah. That's Why? a special word when they say unk. We'll go into that. It's Let's just talk about the vitamin OG. D, right? That's all they said. OG, OG a school. All so, that. so, so when he went to the store, he got the vitamin D, mm-hmm. and he took it. I said, "He said, my wife, man, she she ain't responding." I said, "Stick it in her mouth, mm-hmm. make her take him." He did, and the next day he was like, "Uncle, I'm, I'm moving around now." I said, "Okay." He said, "I ain't ate in three days." I said, "Listen." Go in there and wolf some food down. Don't try to taste it because, you know, you, they done lost their taste and yeah, their smell. Yeah, so yeah. when you lose that, you don't really want to eat no mm-hmm. more. Mm-hmm. So uh, he wolfed the food down. It took him about four days. Took it, that Delta version was a little, usually when it's just a, when it was just a regular coronavirus, two days, they will. Yeah. Uh, but this one here took took like four days. But uh, he recovered. And then a couple of days later, he told me, man, my wife moving around. She out to be it. And uh, both of them totally, the whole family totally, and his two daughters had it as well. They they all totally recovered. How do you feel like you, like like we take zinc and all kind of stuff. Zinc but too. We, I take zinc okay. too. So yeah, I, I do zinc. take vitamin D, but you're going to make me go back home oh, and look and see go the, in. I'm not, I got to go look in the uh, no, milligrams she go in. and see how much, how many milligrams what, I'm taking. Don't, don't, <laughs> don't listen to me. What you do it's is, have me is on go, it. go look up Dr. Leslie Ray Matthews mm-hmm. and see who he is. 
and and then get your information directly from him. <laughs> right, I know that's right, man. <laughs> say, man, so what would you say to the younger you, man, if you could go back before you even was talking to the uh, guy that sold dope asking his opinion, how how would you, would, what would you say to yourself to change your narrative or to, 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 to get yourself prepared for where you're headed? Well, you know, usually I don't go back. I know. In life, you know, whatever it is, it is. It ain't and gonna you can't change, change it anyway. History. But what I do is those steps that I missed, I started to do them right now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. Hey, so, so. so what I would do is exactly what I'm doing right now. Let myself know. You can run with doctors. You can hang out with doctors. You know, during the pandemic, I was hanging out with two of the coldest black doctors in the world on the, over the telephone, though. Yeah. Because I'm trying to get him to the White House. Yeah. I'm trying to get everybody to know, like, look, this dude got the answers. You know, he, wow. he one of the dudes who, who, who killed SARS and, and yeah. the first coronavirus. Wow. Y'all need him up there with y'all. You know, uh, I call Congress people and uh, pastors and like, man, you need to get in touch with Governor Newsom. Yeah. Can you get Newsom on the phone? And, and, and they just didn't believe it. I thought I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't trust Will. So I'm thinking they don't have no good agenda for us. I'm thinking the health, you know, the creating sickness is something that the health uh, department, they thrive off of. And that may be a negative way to look at it. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if that's the case, but uh, I know that they're. Do you think some of them do it now? Come on now. They're. They could, but but even if even if they don't, you know, like I don't I don't really I know that they're choosing the wrong two doors. They're okay. picking from the wrong I doors. They're not picking it. from that door that they don't know about. You know, uh, um, they're not being innovative. You know, they're not being creative. Yeah. So uh, it could just be out of ignorance. You know, they could be doing this stuff out of out of just straight. Mm-hmm. Ignorance, dumbness. You know, Doc told me a lot of them when they was going to school, they was getting drunk. <laughs> so that, that Doc said thing. he didn't have no he didn't have no rich parents to pay his way through. You know, he can go and pay the teachers. He said he had to study. Yeah, but he said a lot of his classmates was getting drunk mm-hmm. and, and and doing all kind of other stuff, having party and rages and all kind of stuff when he was studying. So yeah. sometimes they just don't know. You know, they they 100%. They, they got that piece of paper, but. It, it wasn't really earned. <laughs> yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' 